Hi, I'm Michael from Kitchen Cider. Welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm going to go over some little kitchen design details that I'm really liking at the moment and I'm seeing pop up a little bit more this year. So I've got three design details to chat about and share with you. I'm not talking about overall styles and aesthetics. These are smaller little touches within kitchen design that I'm really appreciating at the moment. Starting with countertop edge profiles and more specifically for me, the shark nose profile. So I'm sure a lot of people never think twice about their countertop edge profile or even know that you can get different ones. However, it's a little detail that can really elevate your kitchen design and add another layer to the overall aesthetic that you're going for. I mentioned the shark nose profile and this is where the countertop edge cuts back in on itself, giving you that sort of chamfered shark's nose profile. I find this works especially well with more contemporary kitchens, especially a handleless design that has the horizontal handle profiles running underneath it. Now I've talked about this in the past and highlighted it in other videos, but I thought it was worthwhile to just stop and focus on it, particularly here. Now there are lots of other different shaped profiles that you can have depending on the look that you're going for. And I think just stopping and having a think about this little touch can really help to add more depth and interest to your overall design. For instance, if you like a more traditional design, you might want to consider a cove edge or an ogee edge, an OG edge, however you say it. This can add a sense of sort of grandeur and luxury to your countertops. And just to say that different companies and different countries will call these edges by different names. So you may need to inquire and see what edge profiles your particular manufacturer offers and what they call them. It's a little detail, but I think it can make quite a big impact. Next, I've got metallic elements. So I'm not talking about stainless steel countertops or copper sinks or even metallic cabinet doors. I'm on about smaller and more subtle elements like metallic inlays for handles or edging on cabinets, countertops and plinths, and maybe even certain styles of shelving. This is a great example of using these subtle metallic elements to help create some interest in the kitchen as well as tie it all together. You've got the inlays in the doors for handles with this strip that runs along into the countertop edge tied in with the quite bare metallic shelving. And here we've got the use of this metallic element as the handleless rail profile subtly underneath the countertop in the sort of shadow gap, but then it's all tied together with the handles on the tool cabinets and then that backsplash area as well. And here we've got this brassy bronze trim around the island as well as the plinth, which they've tied in with the tap and undermount sinks. So it's using metallic elements and accents in a more subtle and smaller way that helps to create a cohesive look and just elevate the design a little bit and add some more interest. And lastly, I'm talking curves. So not only curved cabinets and kitchen islands, I'm seeing curves used more architecturally with archways and even some feature focal points. Now, curves are nothing new, but I am seeing these softer, more organic shapes pop up a little bit more within kitchen design at the moment. I think it's a little bit of a shift towards that organic, modern, and maybe biophilic style with little nods to Art Deco that we're seeing around right now. As I said, this can be curved cabinets at the end of runs or curves on an island to soften the space and eliminate those sharper, squarer edges, which to some might now feel a bit too clean and harsh and just trying to get away from that series of square boxes look. And it's not just the cabinets themselves. I'm seeing arched doorways and architectural features within the room to create some more interest. This is a perfect example where we've got a curved base cabinet on the end. We've got soft curves on the island. We've got the curved tall doors giving that sort of nod to Art Deco. And again, that nod to Art Deco with that real feature focal point with the curved marble backsplash. Personally, I love the use of archways within the home. I think there's something really special about it. So I'm enjoying seeing these pop up more in projects at the moment. So what do you think? Are you a fan of any of these design details or are there any other ones that you're seeing out there that you really love? Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, I'm sure you'll like this one where I talk about other trending kitchen design features. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.